Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to the Witcher 3. So loud game. Um Let me see if I can find the right Gilly Wop. Okay. Uh we have to change our outfit for one thing. I mean as cool as it is, I wanna wear my Witcher gear. And I don't have my silver sword equipped. How nice. Oh, I was like, why do I have two? That's right, though. That was the steel sword. And I don't have my crossbow equipped. Thanks, game. Thanks for taking it all away from me. Um, really quick, I, I do want to do the Manticore- Oh, I didn't know we were on our way to the Manticore quest, but this got- this took us- Oops, uh, oh yeah, um. There we go. Uh, I did kind of want to go check out my house. I want to check out my house. But I also want- to do that which is fairly close and my house is right there oh I mean it's sort of on the way <laughs> all right let's go check out the house really quick yeah we'll get grab this fast travel Seek shelter, ladies. The witches on the ground. I'm taking. Thank you. And we gotta do the mutagen quest. Like I'm really interested in that one. In the with the scholar who was studying witcher mutagens. Hey, they cleaned it up. Oh, hey. The Dutch is small, but do you know any who's not heard of our wines? Good day! Okay. So, do you guys live here? <laughs> You've spread some nastiness to me! <laughs> You've spread some nastiness to me. Oh, and what do you get for all that work? A crook in your back. Oh, hello. I was like, hopefully Welcome somebody home, will be here to sir. talk to me. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianca. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Hopefully. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron? Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Nah. Indeed. Apparently, he Indeed. was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair went about his work with an exceptional penchant. Penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title. Do you grant your headsman an estate for exceptional Monsieur work? Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade That's it. That's sad. Shame that. 
He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. Sweet! I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Okie dokie. Don't murder me. What an interesting Behold, looking dude. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Wow. Can Pretty I fix vast. it up? Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. Oh. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Well, hopefully you enjoy it. The servants' quarters. Oh. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasure. Nice of her. Wow. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. This is weird. This has to be so far beyond him. It's like unreal. So far beyond Geralt. This is nice. Baron Rosset ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive gloves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Down below lies your home, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. You're like nice. already obsessed. This is Have good. Have to try it one of these days. Sheep, shenanigan. I can't see a thing. Oh, where'd you go? A nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he <coughs> ordered it filled with wine. Ew. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius school for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heart and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin <laughs> miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebiodo. Okay. I love all the flowers. Monsieur Bolius's wife Nina kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And then there's and a woman again, singing, she haunts it. Herbs she haunts and it. Other vegetation. Mm -hmm. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma. So look at him leaning against the barrel. 
You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Barnabas. Oh, please, you first. I'm having a hard time figuring out where he wants to go. This is beautiful. Man, could you imagine living in a place like this? A witch fella. Just a bunch of land and nice little houses and stuff to do all day. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of Kent Hill. Hmm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. <laughs> we get to make upgrades. I'm so excited. Do we dare go down there? We're not gonna, we're not gonna go down there? Yeah? The oh, cellus, yeah. voila. During Monsieur Bolis' time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. <laughs> he bowed! Wow, I can't believe he did that. Did you dispose of it properly? You're already super dedicated, man. Man, having to be the major domo for a for a witcher's got to be a weird job. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it. A certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Look at you getting all domestic, Geralt. Welcome inside. Whoa. Very cozy. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right wow, I own a house. Kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room. Currently and I can decorate it and stuff. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will together devise some innovative arrangements. A few pages. This is like the millennial instance, dream. Will new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Owning your own house. For Bianco is a beautiful no debt, state. And being able to and upgrade it. Time has taken its toll. If, and decorate if it as you please. Forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Right now, boy. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor. Yes! I don't have any more. I sell it all, but... Collector. I, I appreciate it. Oh, man! Hmm. Need to think it over some. I understand, of course. As the venerable Lady Eve Knibli would so quaintly put it, the rash oft contract rashes. Meh. That's all for now, BB. BB? BB? Really? Can I sleep? Oh, there's a a bed. You all right there, girl? He like he's like a dog. He literally spun around in a circle. Oh. Oh wow. You can hang out in the library? Wow. Oh no, are we in the library right now? Okay. I thought I was in the bedroom, but you know. Oh. Heinrich Hemmelfart, or Hierarch. Yeah. I 
can hang up. I wonder if I get more. Oh. Uh. Is this all my stuff? These are all the books I've gotten. Oh my gosh. That's so cool! That's so cool! I have like a library! Oh my gosh! Wow! Trophy. I don't have a trophy. Apparently you can get a trophy from, um... Oh wait. Oh my gosh! I could sell all this and make money! I'm gonna need to do that! I am gonna need to do that. Oh my gosh. Because making the armor has been very expensive already. And upgrading the house? Um, weapon rack. To outside. Yeah. Uh, this is a very small house. Armor stand. Uh, this is the one I got as a gift. I th Yeah, I got it as a gift. I remember. When I saved um, Dandelion, I got it as a gift from the dwarf guys. Pretty sure. Oh my gosh, cute! A little cooking place. It's very dark. Hopefully when I upgrade it, it'll be much nicer. Cool! I love, I love having your house in the game that you can, like, upgrade and stuff. It's the best. It's the best! Kitty, 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 kitty. Yes, I, I know, kitty don't like me. If I only could. Okay, okay, well, let's go check out the manticore thing. The more you Wait, oh, I don't know. I probably can't actually. It was, like, way over there. That's right. Well, I guess we'll fast travel to the tourney grounds and then hop on our good old roach who's in our fine armor. And you can get you can use Quen to get rid of critical facts like that. I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> Don't get in my way. I'm summoning a horse from the abyss. Oh. I'm just standing here. Find your own way. <laughs> Roach, don't get scared, but I know. Kids are scary. Come back out of the wooden pole. Come on. Come on, Roach. We gotta go. Roach. The north must be the barbaric land. Um, let's mark. Nope. Mark it. What am I doing? Quest. Treasure. Again, it's fine. I know exactly what I'm doing. I've been playing this game for years, and it's fine. It's fine. Hey Let's just follow this road out, so I don't have to worry about navigating people. Besides, this is a nice pace to take it at. Like just looking. Wait, is that guy? Pee that guy was peeing, but he's. Whoa. He was floating. I know he was. Wow. And I'm sure if I had a better computer, the graphics would be even nicer. But it's so beautiful as it is. Hey there. Hey there. I wasn't talking to him, but it sounded like I was. Oops. Oh, you do follow the trail when you're galloping. I thought you did. Cheater. Excuse oh, us, oh. excuse us, excuse us. Terribly sorry. Don't 
the horse riding looks so good. Woo! Okay, this not is so fast, Roach. Veer off. Oh, uh, what? Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Um, am I being? Shoot! I can't tell. Another? I haven't seen an abandoned site in ages. Where's the one that does poisons? I don't know what kind of animal it is. Is it one of those plants? Yeah, it's a plant. I don't... How do I... Nobody was, like, gonna bother the guy who's just sitting there in the field like a weirdo. That'll have to be okay. Come on, Roach. Oops. Hey, uh. Where, how, how close are we? Oh, pretty dang close. Please. Oh, God. Come on now. Oh, my gosh. Faster. Roach. You're so annoying. Uh, you know, no, I'm done. I'm done with this. what the scenario was but this one was at the fort the abandoned fort look at that water I'm just hoping we can get up nope <laughs> maybe not he's right there there we go steep water old waterway maybe no <laughs> weird mushrooms I like crossing so many roads for this wonder if I'll find anything Merton left behind here I embezzled and I stole. I admit this and I am ashamed of my actions, but what was I what was I to do? My salary as a scribe was so laughably meager. I was reduced to borrowing coin from my mother. I was a thief, but I also did a great deal of good for the palace library. Who secured the import of such tomes as the lives of the prophets de Hemorai Dwidebus 
the art of midwifery for maidens, and many others. The palace library has me to thank for the storehouse of all knowledge needed for a merry and satisfied life, and other rare tomes, such as Speculum Aurum and De Lavara Sinis e Figures Chemicis. Theft and embezzlement mean nothing. A man's true val value shows in the manner in which he treats books. Um, I hope that was... Oh! Oh! What? What? Mm. Uh, excuse me. The thing I obviously need is obviously in this direction. I don't know who you are. Um, but you're not moving, and that's a little bit creepy. I'm I'm semi concerned. What is she? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She's gotta be some sort of vampire. I should have expected. I should have expected some sort of vampires. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if she is. We'll give it a go. Um. Scary looking. that we faced before. Wait! Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, if she is a vampire, she is a vampire. I need to drink black blood. She's an out. She was so scary. What the frick are you? Looked like a Bruxa, but that was no Bruxa. A fragment of a conversation between the Elderman of Falcolone and a Witcher. 
Alps are vampires that resemble Bruxa in appearance. They are called phantoms by some, a name which fits well enough, for like phantoms, they haunt and torment men. They usually take on the form of a woman, though they can also appear as animals. They are most often found prowling near villages. They attack at night and are most active when the moon is full. Alp saliva can make one fall asleep, and when it is applied to a sleeping man, can invoke horrible nightmares. Some suggest that they are the cause of legends about men who go to sleep healthy and are found when in the morning white as snow, not a drop of blood in their veins. What, how are they different from a Bruxa? They're basically, one's a redhead and one's not? One's a blackhead? And one has more prominent hips than the other? And one looks more like it's going to... Explode from disease in the other one. It's not even nighttime. Why'd you fight? Why'd you? Why'd you attack me? Apparently, you attack at night. You jerk. Oh, those are flowers. There's a treasure. Oh. Fragment of a journal, a joinal, joinal, soiled with blood and spinal fluid. It portended to be just another day as a clerk at the ducal treasury. Start in the morning with baguette and camembert, the camembert, camembert, then shuffle some parchments and head home for before dusk. Today, however, the normal order of uh, of things was disturbed. Dramatically, I came across a highly interesting note in the archives, and along with it, a key. Okay, well, hopefully you guys saw the fight. Um, I, I noticed the recording glitching out as I was doing my dramatic reading of uh, this text. <laughs> so hopefully you saw the fight. Hopefully you didn't screw everything up because I'll be really mad. And anyway, um, anyway, the key is more interesting fine because according to what I can decipher from the dust, covered scribbles, it opens a chest full of gold coins. But I'm getting ahead of myself. While doing some routine straightening of the files, I found a report outlining procedures for the reform of Bastoy Prison. Order straight from Duke Henry Grass. We are all aware how badly this experiment ended. For the ruins of that prison to this day frighten any potential tourists with their battered skeletons and legends about howling spirits of the murdered gods. Yet I did not know that hiding among the abandoned ruins there was a chest and that its key was lying right under my nose. The chest supposedly contains crowns meant for the purchase of books and rations for the inmates of Bastoy. One of the clerks employed here at the time committed the sin of omission and sent the chest to the warden without the key. Yet perhaps that was for the best. The warden was impaled and the guards all skinned alive, meaning those degenerates would also have gotten their hands on the chest had he received the key. As it is, might the chest still be there unopened? Folks say a curse has fallen on that place, a dark power brought down by the bestiality of the murders it beheld. But folk also say an Ophiri will become an emperor Nilfgaard and herald the end of the world. So there's not much point in giving any of such jabbering much credence. Okay then. Well, unfortunately, uh, you didn't make it. Oh, I already know where the treasure is. Oh, what's this? Oh. The sun is now rising. I shall make use of its light to write this letter before they come take me to the gallows. I do not know who shall read it. No, or indeed, if anyone shall, perhaps I am writing only to myself to cast this out before my execution and cleanse my heart. Yes, I killed him. Until now, I have lied and attempted void punishment. I still believe he deserved death for what he did to me. Did I do wrong? Perhaps. Yet he was most assuredly a bad man, one who deserved death. The gods shall make the final judgment, and they shall deliver the sentences, mine and his. I hear the guards' steps. May the gods watch over my soul. Well, uh, apparently the guards were skinned alive, so that's gross. Is this... no? Not this one? Kinda hoping to find some more guard stuff. Or more, um... Hints about what happened. Whoa. Work order! Dag in Tucson people guard. Oh, blue to red. Nice. There's never enough. Order the reorganization and reform mm. of Bastoy Prison to the Warden by decree. Okay. Of his illustrious grace, Duke Henry III, Jack Swalix, Warden of Bastoy Prison, 
It is required to implement the following reforms. Dismiss half the prison's guard staff. Forbid the use of corporal force against the inmates. Discontinue punishment by dark cells. Limited rations and flogging. Permit the prisoners to possess private property. Allow prisoners to walk at will around the penitentiary grounds. Purchase, using the included funds, vittles of the finest quality and hire a teacher to instruct in reading and writing and purchase of any equipment necessary for said instruction. Well, I believe this change is based on the models popular in the more civilized lands of the South will result in a lowering of the rate of crime in the duchy, showing the young offenders a pathway to new life. Interesting. Well, theoretically that should work, but uh, apparently you had some real big crazies. So, it didn't work out so well. Oh, that's what? That's, well, I was like, what? I got him. Where am I going? Um, uh, why was it? Why is it? Why it was at the top before? Why is it at the bottom now? Somehow, I missed an important clue. Even while wandering this area. Repeatedly. Oh. Thank you. Just a random guy. Climb like a witcher. This is frustrating. Like you were beheaded and chained? Were you chained up in here? Oh, man, really? Aha! Where's the rest of it? My fellow captive, Merton, who for so many months kept his neck stiff, mocked my faith in Laboria and praised the joys of a riotous life, today broke down completely. He admitted he had wasted his gods, given time on pleasures of the flesh, and all that he had to show for it were chains and indignities. I tried <laughs> try to lift his spirits, tell him there was another path, that he can cast off his past habits and devote his life to Laboria and his teachings. For now, my counsels have fallen on deaf ears, but I believe he will one day convert and listen to the truth. It is shocking how pleasant... Um... How pleasantly I now converse with Merton. If beggars believed to think we were once could not bear each other's presence, he is a man transformed, metamorphosed. I feel he has accepted his new path. He devours greedily all that I tell him about Labodia and his teachings. What rapture it is that in this dank and dark dungeon, the prophet sent me a sinner and gave my life meaning. It is over. Merton has served his sentence and left these accursed dungeon walls. The teachings which I have tried to pass on to him during these last dozen months have clearly taken root. Merton has vowed to go on a pilgrimage, which will let him cast off his old ways and open the doors for a new life. As I advised, he will go first to the cave where Labodia received enlightenment, and on those walls he carved four of his great truths. I hope the aura of that place will help Merton, as it has helped many before him achieve cleansing and gain strength to continue his pilgrimage onto his next station which I advised him should be illegible. Notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison Merton went to the legendary cave. Leviota was supposed to have hunkered down. That's my next destination. 
Oh my gosh. The other one was way easier. Everything was like in one spot. It was great. Oh, good. Everything was very... Well, apparently, maybe everything's here. Um, Man, we don't have a... wonder if that place has a fast travel point. If I go directly north. Oops. Oh, that was fine. Whoa, what's that? Oh, is it like a wyvern, I think? Or, um... Oh, God, what's it called? It's a dragon thing. Dragon it. Come here. Come here. Fight me. 